you are about to listen to a Beyond the Wheel mini pod. Hey everybody and welcome to another mini pod. I was recently invited to Winnebago to test their new driver confidence package. This collection of features will soon be available on all Class A gas motorhomes from Winnebago. And it includes features such as intelligent adaptive cruise, pre-collision with active braking support, lane keeping assist, electronic stability control, traction control, hill start assist, auto high beams, and manual shift with range indication. That's a lot of features. <laughs> All these systems combined make up the new driver confidence package and are intended to make you feel more comfortable while driving a large RV, such as a Class A motorhome. So the day began with me heading over to the Winnebago facility and meeting up with John Millis, who is the product manager for all Winnebago Class A gas and diesel pushers. John went over the menus of the new package with me, which are all controlled by a keypad that's on the steering wheel. I was pleased to see that not only could you turn some of these systems on and off, but you could adjust the sensitivity for some of them as well. I like the amount of control that you have over these features to make them like less sensitive or more sensitive. After all, not everyone likes new tech and this confidence package will now be standard in all the Winnebago Class A gas RVs. After John was finished showing me these features, it was time to take the RV out for a test drive. Our test vehicle was a 2023 Winnebago Adventure 36Z. So it has the new Ford F53 chassis with the 7.3 liter V8 engine. This engine replaces the engine that I have in my current Winnebago Vista, which is a 6.8 liter V10. The advantage of the new engine is that it can put out more torque at a lower RPM. It also has more horsepower than the previous V10 engine. This is something that I could feel in the test drive right away during acceleration. It was quicker and quieter while getting up to speed. Our test vehicle also had sumo springs and a safety plus bar, which now can be added on from the Winnebago factory when you order your coach. Uh, we were in a 30th anniversary adventurer, which has the safety plus bar and a sumo spring standard. During the test drive, we were joined by Mark Lafferty, who is the product manager for the Class A gas and diesel line for Winnebago. Mark was driving a Winnebago Solus, which is a small Class B van. The purpose for this vehicle was that Mark would drive in front of us and use the Solus to trigger some of the systems in the Adventurer. So with walkie-talkies in hand to communicate back and forth, we were off. We set the intelligent adaptive cruise on the Adventurer and with Mark in front of us, he would slow down to see if the Adventurer would recognize the speed change and match Mark's speed, which it did. And then when Mark sped up, again, it would match his speed until we reached the set speed of 60 miles per hour. The system worked very well, and I felt just this one addition would really make the overall driving experience more pleasant and relaxing, as now all I'm doing is steering. We also wanted to test the pre-collision with active braking support. So we had Mark slow down to about 5 miles an hour, and the adventure quickly realized this, pre-charged the brakes, and started applying them, giving me plenty of time to step in and stop the RV before driving into the back of the Solus. Winnebago either had a lot of faith in me, or the new system, maybe a little bit of both. One thing of note is that the adventure will not come to a complete stop on its own. You do need to step in and stop it. The system is designed to alert you and start braking, giving you time to react and stop the vehicle completely. Another feature that I thought was nice was the hill start assist. Most of my RV driving is done while flat towing a vehicle, and I thought this feature would be nice when starting out on a hill since it's bad to roll backwards while flat towing. It can bind up your tow bar. I found the manual shifting to be a nice feature as well. With this, you would be able to put the RV in a lower gear right before hitting an incline, instead of waiting for the automatic transmission to figure out that it needed to downshift after you were already into a climb. I think this will greatly improve uphill climbs. I tested this out but this was done in Iowa where really there are no significant grade changes to fully get a feel for how the manual shift would work on a hill climb. But it did work on flattish ground and it worked really well. One of the systems that I would probably find myself turning off is the lane assist. But like I said earlier, that is one of the nice things about this package. You can turn off whatever you don't want to use. I did adjust the sensitivity of the lane assist to low and I still felt 
it was alerting me for lane departing a little bit too early and often. Keep in mind the Class A RV is a very large vehicle and pretty much takes up the entire lane. It really doesn't take much to drift a smidge outside of your line, especially on a windy day. Maybe it's just something that I need more time using to see if I would like it because it does have a nice feature where it senses you going out of your lines too often. It will display a coffee cup suggesting that it's time for you to take a break from driving. One thing I could not test was the auto high beams because the test was done during the day, but I can say that my wife's Ford has this in her car and I really like how it works. You can turn the high beams on and when the car sees another set of lights, either headlights or taillights, it turns those high beams back off until the car passes or turns out of your way, then pops the high beams right back on again. It's very quick to react and it works very well. So my overall thoughts are I really enjoyed the test drive and I thought all these systems combined worked very well together and never felt intrusive. I think it did make the overall driving experience very pleasant. As I drove, I felt myself to be very relaxed behind the wheel and holding a conversation with John Millis. I think the best way to describe the system is that it's always paying attention and unable to be distracted. I look forward to having these features in our next Winnebago. I'm not really sure when that'll be, but I did just hit over 120,000 miles on our Vista, so it may be sooner than later. Take care all and safe travels.